Walmart introduces dynamic pricing, despite the fact that this model has failed at every other major retailer in the United States that's even attempted to think about doing this. Most recently, Wendy's attempted dynamic pricing to huge public outcry. What did Wendy's do wrong? What Wendy's did is they proposed that depending on the time of day that you went through the drive-through, they would increase the price if there was heavy traffic at that time or decrease the price if there was not. Now, what people really figured out is they weren't really gonna decrease the price for much, but if you went through during rush hour, say lunch, dinner time, that then they were gonna charge you a much higher rate just to go through and get your burger and shake. So, huge public outcry, Wendy's heard the customers, got smart, decided to drop the dynamic pricing model. Now, Walmart, what they're going to do is move to electronic stickers versus the little paper stickers that they have for the price of everything now. So what does that mean? That means if it's a 100 plus degree day outside and you go into Walmart to the cold drink area, you can bet that all of the prices are gonna be hiked up because they know that you're gonna need a cold drink that day. Or, heaven forbid, there's a major snowstorm outside and you go over to where the snow shovels are at and you see that they're double the price that they normally are. That's what we're leading to and talking about and people are really upset. Now, if Walmart is smart, they won't do this because people don't wanna be gouged. It's already a really rough economy for everybody out there in 2024. There aren't enough good jobs for everybody. People can't get housing. People can't move to better jobs because there aren't available opportunities for them to do so. And people are unemployed for a very long period of time right now. And in addition to all that, inflation is ridiculous and everything is horribly expensive compared to where it was just a few years ago. So Walmart, the place where most people go because it's the cheapest place to get most goods, even though most people don't like Walmart because of the way that their stores are run, the way that they treat their employees, and the way that they already tend to gouge people, they're going to try to push this even further and try to take people and say, if this is something you really need that day, we're gonna charge you more for it. I think it's a huge mistake and I don't think that they should do it, but I don't think that they'll listen. What do you guys think?